What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2 with another episode of my Legendary Weapon Guide. And in this series, we take a look at the Legendary Weapons, who drops them, and what they do. And today, we are taking a look at the Legendaries. To end all motherfucking Legendaries, it is the Norfleet Rocket Launcher. This rocket launcher, once you get it, you will never pick up another rocket launcher again just because of how devastatingly powerful this weapon is. And if you take a look at the card, these are usually above 200,000 damage. God damn, what a multiplier of three on top of that because it shoots three at once. And it also comes in multiple elements, in slag in corrosive, and also in fire. Now, there is an explosive version of this floating around out there, but remind yourself that the explosive 260,000 Norfleet is a modded weapon. It is not able to come as an explosive variety since explosions aren't really considered elements in this game. So in original vanilla Borderlands, this weapon is only dropped from Vermivorous the Invincible, or you can also find it in boxes, but most of the boxes that people have found in them have been in the armory or in the treasure chest room in the DLCs. So if you don't have any of the DLCs, your only chance is they're going to be able to pick this up from leveling up VAR kids and getting Vermivorous to spawn. If you have the DLC, this weapon also has a chance to drop from any of the Seraph Guardians. Now let's take a look at how devastating this weapon is against regular mobs. If you just shoot this in a general direction, it is a splash damage monster. And sometimes, you don't even have to come close. Because this is an E-Tech rocket launcher, and it's made by Malawan, it's always going to be elemental, and the fire version is the one you want, because the fire version takes down raid bosses like a motherfucker. This is old footage right here from when I stacked up 600 Anarchy, and I went after Terramorphous. He's been buffed since, but as you can see, these rockets hit for a huge amount of damage, probably about like 5 to 6 million at least when you buff them up with some type of damage augmentation. Now recently, this has been the weapon of choice for people going after Veracidus the Invincible because Veracidus is weak to fire, he is a fleshy enemy and it also is the most powerful fire weapon that's available. So if you are lucky enough to find this in fire, you are going to have a great time figuring out strategies and theory crafting and exactly how powerful you can make your shots of the Northfleet rocket launcher. So my name is Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, that would be fucking amazing. And also, go get your motherfucking North Fleet on. <laughs> so, my name is Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.